Let's look at a few examples of converting from a resistor color code to the resistance or vice versa. Now anytime that I find myself in a position where I need to do this, if I don't have it off the top of my head, what I would do is I would I would just go through and I would list all of the all of the digits, zero through nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, and then it's easy to, uh, once they're out like this, to put black and white on the two ends. And then when I think about what color is most like black, I think brown is the color that's most like black. And then what color is most like white? I think gray is the color that's most like white. And then the remaining colors are just the colors of the rainbow in order. So probably in elementary school you learned Roy, G, Biv, but remember that uh, uh, middle school uh, science teachers teach that indigo as a color. We despise indigo. We just say that we go straight from blue to violet. And so there's Roy G. Buv, uh, because uh, that's really not a color. So you can see here that just by remembering black and white, then the colors that are most similar to those two, and then filling in Roy G. Buv in between, now I've, I've reconstructed the color code. If you find yourself on the first exam having to solve a problem like this, Reconstruct the color code, and then you've got it right in front of you as if it, as if it had already been there. <coughs> so when I look at the color stripes here, uh, green, blue, red, gold, well, green and blue, because there are four stripes, green and blue will be the, the digits of the coefficient. So green is five, so I've got five, and then blue is going to be six, so there's five, six, that'll be times 10 to the next stripe. The next stripe is red, and so you can see red is 2, so that's 5, 6 times 10 to the second power. So this is 5, 6 times 100. This would be 5,600, 5, so 5,600 uh, ohms, or as an electrical and computer engineer would write it, 5.6 kilo ohms. And then, of course, what's the tolerance? Well, the last stripe is gold, and gold corresponds to a tolerance of 5%. So I'm going to say plus or minus 5%. And it's just as easy as that. Now we don't need to reconstruct the color code for the second one, but it'll still be helpful to us. Uh, here the stripes are brown, black, orange, gold. So brown, black is a very common pattern that you're going to see an awful lot. Uh, probably most of the most popular resistors are going to start brown, black, something. And we'll see why that is here in a second. Brown, well that's one. And black, that's zero. Oh, that's why brown black is so popular because all of the all of the resistances that that are an even multiple of ten are all going to start with brown black. So those are the most popular resistors. Uh, and this is going to be times ten to the something. That something is orange, and therefore it's going to be times ten to the third power. So this is ten times a thousand, which is ten thousand ohms, or as we prefer to put it. 10 kilo ohms, and then because the last stripe is gold, it's once again plus or minus 5%. Now let's see if we can go the other direction. What stripe pattern would signify a resistor that is 47 ohms plus or minus 10%? Okay, as soon as I see that it's 47, that there are only two digits there, I know that this is going to be a four-stripe resistor. Two stripes for the coefficient, one stripe for the power of 10, and one stripe for the tolerance. So four, if I scroll back up here, four corresponds to yellow, and seven corresponds to violet. So I'm going to have uh, yellow, so uh, four, seven, four, seven is equal to yellow and then violet. And then uh, this is going to be multiplied by 10 uh, to the 0 power, because it's 47. It's just there's no multiplication necessary. So 10 to the 0 power. So 10 to the 0 power. Remember that 0 corresponded to black. And in this case, it's not plus or minus 5%. It's plus or minus 10%. And the plus or minus 10% will give you a pattern or a stripe that is silver. And so what I find here is that I end up with a pattern that is yellow, violet, which is a fancy word for purple, black, silver. So if what I want is a resistor that is 47 ohms plus or minus 10%, then I want to find one that has a pattern of yellow, violet, black, and silver. Last example here. 
105 kilo ohms plus or minus 1%. Now notice here that the coefficient has three digits. Therefore, I know that this is going to be a five stripe pattern. And the five stripe pattern is, is going to uh, indicate three stripes for coefficients, one stripe for multiplier, and one stripe for tolerance. So one, zero, five is going to correspond to brown, black, I remember those off the top of my head. Let's scroll back up and see what five is. Oh, five is green. So we're gonna have brown, black, green. And that is gonna to correspond to the 105, but it needs to be times 10 to the third power because it's in kilo ohms. So 10 to the third power, that means that the coefficient needs, or that the uh, exponent needs to be three. Scrolling back up to the top, three corresponds to orange. And so therefore this is orange. And what we have is a tolerance of plus or minus 1%. And if you go back and look in the notes, plus or minus 1% requires a stripe of tolerance, which is brown. So plus or minus 1% is equal to brown. And so therefore, my, my full color stripe pattern will be brown, black, green, orange, and brown. Remember that these three stripes here correspond to the 105. This is the exponent, and then this one is the tolerance.